When I was growing up, the Brady Bunch was on television all the time in my home. And two of my favorite characters on the show were Jan and Marsha Brady, as played by Eve Plum and Maureen McCormick. Way back then, I just assumed that all of the kids on the show got along wonderfully. However, as time has passed and the internet has become a primary source of information for many of us, we've seen numerous articles that tell us that things weren't always peaches and cream on the Brady Bunch set. This recent article by Richard Evans, in fact, would lead us to believe that things went from bad to horrible after the show ended. And in that article, Evans quotes a 2020 interview with the actress who played Cindy, the youngest of the Brady girls, Susan Olsen, who says that in particular, Eve Plum and Maureen McCormick had never gotten along. And it seems that their feud may have reached its zenith when Maureen, while promoting her autobiography, Here's the Story, did not dispute an interviewer's inference that she and Eve had developed feelings for each other. Some of the articles that I've read say that Maureen giggled when she was asked about her off-screen relationship with Eve. Whatever happened, Eve didn't like it one bit. I think there is a lot of pressure on these celebrities when they write a book to share something sensational, to make it more of a tell-all, if you will. And from what I understand, for the most part, Maureen's book rises above all that. Fortunately, it appears that in recent years, the two have left the past behind and made the very adult decision to repair their relationship. In this article by Keeley Parkey, she reveals that it was the TV show A Very Brady Renovation that not only repaired the original Brady home, but also Eve and Maureen's friendship. And in an interview with E! News, Eve took it one step further when she was asked if there was any truth to the rumors about a feud with Maureen. She said, people like to say things, and then laughingly added, there was no remedy needed for her friendship with Maureen or any of the other Brady actors. She also said, we're all grown up now, obviously, and we all get along like real people. So if there ever was any conflict between these two lovely ladies, it seems clear to me that they have risen above it all and restored their friendship, which is exactly how it should be. After all, these were the two Bradys who actually decided that a double marriage would be the way to go when they found the men of their dreams. Anyone remember the TV movie The Brady Girls Get Married? Which was then followed up by the television series The Brady Brides. Friday, the original Brady Bunch cast is back for the wedding of the year. I think I better sit down. You are sitting down. It's double romance when the Brady girls get married. I must admit that I was really excited about that show, which was a much better follow-up to the original series than the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. And while the two of them look absolutely lovely in this black and white promotional still from that TV movie, in her autobiography, Maureen reveals that this was a point in time where she was really struggling with a number of issues, including substance abuse. I know, I know, it's hard to believe that this beautiful lady would allow herself to go down that path. And it's a million miles away from happier times like this one when Broadway Joe took a minute between scenes to take this candid snapshot with Eve and Maureen. Eve, on the other hand, seems to have traveled a less rocky road after the original Brady Bunch series ended. Her career got a real boost when she starred in the highly rated NBC TV movie Dawn Portrait of a Teenage Runaway. And while there has been a break or two as other things in life have taken priority, Eve, for the most part, has continued to find roles in television and film that excite and challenge her. There they are, the entire Brady clan. I really do think the world of each of these actors, not only were they talented and perfectly cast, but they really are wonderful people. We've lost Robert, Florence, and Dan B, but the kids, thank heavens, are all still with us. So let me know in the comments section which one was your favorite Brady. Also, feel free, of course, to share any other memories that you might have. And while you're at it, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Hey look, it's Rosie Queer. Boy, is he big.
I bet she orders a Burger King double beef hamburger because it's got twice the beef. Well, I bet he orders a double beef cheeseburger. Come on, a guy that big has got to order a double beef Whopper. One double beef hamburger, a double beef cheeseburger, and a double beef Whopper. All of that? That's my way. <laughs> Have it your way. Go double.